Cool to see Coach Iguano get his first dub. It was also cool to see uh, Redshirt Junior QB Trent Borgay do his thing. TB and his dad joining us for a Sunday conversation. Dad, we'll just start with you. To see your son, who's waited such a very, very long time for that opportunity, uh, succeed, win, all of the above. What were the emotions during yesterday's game? You know, Trenton has done this his entire life, so it didn't shock anybody that knows him. And that doesn't, that's not to be overconfident. That's just being real as can be. Um, you know, he's done this over and over again since he was a little, little, very young child. And this has been his passion and to lead and, to be successful, you know, and, and so we're, we really like what happened yesterday. Obviously we've been elated since it happened and uh, a lot of emotions, a lot of, a lot of grown men texting me saying, you know, my, my eyes are watering right now. It was, it was great. You know, it was super exciting to be able to, to go out there and, you know, help the team uh, come out with the victory, but uh, you know, it stinks to see Emory go down, you know, you never want to see your starter go down with an injury, especially a head injury like that. So I'm um, really just trying to, you know, be in the present, not uh, overthinking and just take what the defense gave me. And, you know, the line did a great job protecting me all night. You know, I've been preparing the last four years like I am the starter, like I am the guy. So, you know, uh, going against our defense, you know, the last four years has really helped me. Um, I knew, you know, once I get my opportunity, not to overthink it and just, just do what I'm uh, here to do. And, and that's to go out there and uh, be the best quarterback I can be. Dad, I'll go back to you here. Whose idea was the Corvette afterwards? By the way, Trenton, that's a, that's a cool graduation gift. I appreciate it. Thank you. You know, um, you know, Trenton has never, ever asked for anything um, material, and, and and literally in his life, and he kind of he kind of nudged me to get a Corvette myself a few years back, and I took a mental note that he finally showed, like me that there's something in the world material wise like that that he kind of liked we we were going to wait till graduation but we figured you know what he's had to wait on quite a few things for the last few years so let's go ahead and reward him right now um and it just so happened that god had a great plan and uh it was a big day for him uh but it was the corvette was going to happen either way you know i had no idea my brother was calling me because it, it took me a while to get off the field and uh, you know, get get done with interviews and get changed and everything like that. So he was he's trying to rush me to get out there and I saw a bunch of people, you know, lined up and you know, I, I had no idea. Uh and you know, once they cleared the way and I saw the Corvette, I was, you know, I was already excited about the win, but that was also a, a great surprise as well. And just glad to 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 share with a lot of people that I love. Did you ever think about giving up? Did you ever think about stop playing football when things didn't go your way? Um I I don't know. I would say there's definitely been times where I've been thinking, you know, when when is it time to, you know, maybe you know, when am I going to, because I want to coach when I'm uh, in the future, when I'm done playing and, you know, having a foot injury was kind of messing with, with messing with my head, but, you know, just try to fight through that and take each day, one at a, one day at a time, just talking to my parents and family and just knowing, you know, I would have never thought this was where, where I'd be, you know, when I was growing up. So just not taking it for granted and, you know, it all works out in the end and I'm just super grateful for everything that's, that's happened to me.